Hello, it's Retro Guy Joe. Let me adjust my tie. Time for more Da Vinci Code for the Xbox. I just got a tablet that says AM. Upper slide, excuse me. Or Maya. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that. And I decided I'm doing one more episode of Da Vinci Code because I can't. Also because to balance out my video output, basically. What is, what is duck? Let's see, okay. Because I want to do three videos of a random game throughout a week. But I'm kind of a little torn because this would be my third video of, or my fourth video of Da Vinci Code. I don't want to just play like one game, one random time. All right, so I got a copper slide. I know I need to, I think I know what I need to do for the sliding tile puzzle up by the nun. But having that memorized is going to be the trick. I think good around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stations of the Cross. I had to go through a bit of... This should come in useful. Not really Catholic school, but what do you call that? The thing that basically brings you into the church? Yeah, I went through that once. I think I remember the Stations of the Frickin' Cross. But I don't, so there. So I raised that up, got a statue, and I'm pretty sure I put it in the wrong spot. Yeah, I put it here when Jesus fell over, but it's supposed to be when Jesus is carrying the cross. So maybe Jesus condemned to die. Jesus carries his cross, and that's what the statue seems to be. It's not of him falling, it's of him carrying his cross. I think it's a statue of Jesus carrying the cross. Okay, fine. We'll put it where Jesus is carrying the cross. Oh, um, how do I... No. Yes. I don't think I have everything I need to do this. But, 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 you put it in the other spot. I don't think I did this correctly. Um, oh, do I have to be first person and then press the start button and then use? Okay. Well, now I think it's in the correct spot. I guess I need to collect all the statues now. Wherever the rest are. I'm going to look at that floor puzzle. Been playing too much seven days. I want to dismantle that radiator so I can get the brass from it. All right, you got your hands. Knock, knock. It's Robert. Oh, good. I, I just remember that Sister Sandrine was carrying around two statues. They might be related to what she was doing tonight. I'll see if I can figure it out. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess I got one of the statues then. All right, so I went and I looked at those letters, but I wonder if you'll automatically remember them or I have to. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to. Going to have to remember them. Okay, so there's no letters there. I guess I'm trying to spell a word across the bottom here. Okay, here is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to take a notepad to write out each of these letters and I'm going to go look at this thingy on the other side. Okay, swap it. That's a robot. That's a. That thingy. That thing. Glorified T. Glorified T. Glorified T. Okay. 
Okay. I got the letters. Let's go translate these real quick at the thingy in the other area. So I'm trying to figure out, is this game running at 60 frames or 30 frames? Because I know my recording isn't the per most perfect thing. I mean, turning something digital from an analog is not a perfect science, I assume. All right, here's this thingy. All right, so what are we looking for? I think that last one might be an N. I don't think I have to separate it out. Okay, so N. That is the first one probably. It's not a B, it's not an O, that's close to those. Uh, not eight, clearly. Where is it? The tip is up on the left side. It's tipped to S, maybe? It's the only one that kind of even looks like it. So me, I, yeah, I'm going to assume I wrote it out right. Said so maybe I didn't keep it separated because apparently there's a separation between the base and the top is kind of important. So I'm going to go with maybe S. Question mark. S question mark. Okay, next one. Eels. Possibly IJ. Assuming now this stuff is mirrored for whatever weird reason it would be. Yeah, I'm going to go with IJ. And what's this last one? Okay, so it's almost like S. Might be an O. Uh, and might be an O. It's right out what it actually, or at least on this, I think looks like. So I double check, make sure maybe I just wrote them down incorrectly, technically. Because like I said, some of these have them separated from the base. I don't know if that matters or not, like the N. All right, uh, let's go check this out. I fast forward that slightly. I also real notice uh, Funhouse did a video on this recent, uh, well, was today, second, second of March, at least a video, which I guess this is kind of a movie tie-in game. I mean, I there it technically is, I guess. Okay. Well, I have all the letters for it, so let's go ahead and get that done first. Yeah, they all seem attached. So. S. I. Uh, no, it goes down. Uh, o. N. Yep. Yeah, okay. I got it. Hole. Drew. Okay, well, that's not the statues. There's nothing of help here, right? Did I check all these drawers already? I'm hoping by saying empty drawer it means, means yeah, you already looked here, dummy. So I'm going to speed this up slightly. Alright, did I get a key for the Amaw? I believe I got something. Let's see if there are any clues in here. Uh, a robe. She didn't stuff anything in her robes and leaving keys in her pockets. Nice robes. Thanks, it has pockets. Station of the Cross statue. Well, there's number two. So we've gotten two statues. Got oil. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with the oil yet. Oh right, there's an actual run button, but he runs out of breath so quickly. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I was trying to say, as a movie tie-in game, this doesn't entirely seem like a... Oh, right, no. Pressing the run button while sneaking is knock. It's... It's kind of weird. It's almost like, uh... What was that? The Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, where they're kind of really different, but they're technically still a remake. So this kind of feels like a remake of the film. All right, so Death of Jesus. Uh, okay, stations across. These are like... Jesus is laid in the tomb? Maybe this one? Kind of looks like this one. The only other thing I got is there's this one glass window over here. And it's shiny and has that thing on it. But it won't let me look at whatever is glowing down there. Because I have no idea what that means. What does that mean? Why is that glowing? And I try using oil here. Uh, did he say something before? Combine with matches? No. Oh. Use the matches? No. Oh. Uh, use slide. I don't know why I would use the slide on here. It's just this big pane of glass, and for some reason he wants to look at it, but I assume... Something... I have to do something with this. Something. I don't know what, where... Oh, tin coin. Ah, uh, it's just a bonus item thing. I... Yeah. Is that all that... That's all that was. It's not even an inventory item, right? It's just like a... Yeah, it's just a bonus collectible thingy. Uh, What is this? What's this? There's something over here. This must go down into the crypt below. Uh, light on fire. I've seen something here. Pour some oil on it. Yeah. I think this door leads to the crypt below Sensel Peace. I wonder how it opens. Uh. Looked like it had an engraving on it. The cleft, the cleft de Vau is said to reveal the true location of the Holy Grail. His existence is known only a handful of people. This stone is laying hidden within the edge of the same pool as one of Paris's most ancient churches for centuries, carved by the hand by John Valentine and Andrea, the rough hewn stone slabs engraved the words job. Three, eight, eleven. It's wonderful and all, but I don't see how that helps me right now. In fact, I don't see how anything helps me right now. <sighs> the only thing I can think of is maybe these statues aren't supposed to be placed at the corresponding. This depicts Jesus carrying the cross he was to be crucified on. Uh, Some place where. Job 3, the deal with, uh, 3811, maybe? Because there are 14 stations of the cross, but the problem is, at the place when it's, where is this one, anyhow? This is 13, or 14, that's 14. I read good. The 3811 doesn't make any sense for two statues, because there's no two spots. I don't even know why I'm thinking 3811. That probably has nothing to do with anything, right? Then I have those two slabs, and I have no idea what to do with those. Huh. Uh... 
Uh, let's see. So they do show up here. Ooh. I have no idea what to do with these things. Maybe it has something to do with the press parts too? Let's see. Okay, let's put them back in where they were. At least their most corresponding spot. A uh, question. Is there like a slip, something, something I could slip this into? Station numeral. Seems like that has to play into this somehow, right? Uh, do I have what John 3811 is? Okay, Bible verse simply reads, Hither to shalt thou come, but no further. This will lead to no clue. In fact, it would seem quite the contrary. This is dead end and overbroke. If one discovered the stone, Tabla must have been quite angered and enraged. It's likely this hill was misled intentionally. Water's well, been shattered. There's a heavy iron candle holder nearly nearby that may have been used to break open the floor of an empty compartment. So there was stone shards. There must have been an item of great importance hidden here once. Now, since there's no other clues other than Job 3811, what was the timepiece clue? Try to remember where I found the okay Matthew seven fourteen. That was the one I found before. So three eleven has to do with the station of the cross, right? So fashion. Am I wrong on this? Probably wrong on this. All right, let's think about it. What was the nun doing? Let's carry around two statues. She revealed something that was. Uh. Job 3811, which as far as I can tell, 3811 in no way corresponds to the Stations of the Cross. The only two that most corresponds with certain points don't seem to do anything when I do it. The wrong one in the wrong spot, then I. That didn't work. Perhaps I placed them at the wrong stations of the cross. Well, at least this time he said something. He didn't say it last time. Anything last time when I did everything. Okay. That didn't work. Perhaps I placed them at the wrong stations of the cross. Dude, I only placed one so far. Give me a second. Okay, so no, he does not like that. The <sighs> only thing I think of is something that deals with 3018, and I have no idea how to cipher that. <sighs> Maybe just 38? Is that simple? Look, dude, I got it. I'm not getting this easily because I'm an idiot. That or at least I don't know they're too riddling. Riddle style. No, that's not it. I, I, look at this. Place this. Okay, no, it's not 38. Ugh, it's practically been an hour. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I like, only solved one puzzle this entire time. Okay. Well, it says it's simply the one in the tomb goes to the one in the tomb. And the one carrying the cross is supposed to be the first time he falls.
Even though the picture clearly depicts a guy hold somebody else helping him with the cross. Cause that's just him carrying the cross. That's a bad statue. Whoever made that statue needs to get whipped. He probably did. That's Jesus helps carry his cross. Where's the first fall? Over here, three. There has to be something I'm missing. Yeah, I forgot to examine it first, because for some reason you can't just walk up and place the dang thing. It says when Jesus is entombed. Okay. But nothing happened. What am I supposed to do here? No, second time. Man. So I get for having good reading comprehension, apparently. So what was that last one? The last one is 14. Okay. Oh, right. This without the missing parts. Yeah, this. This is the missing part right here. The, highlight it. Highlight it. Okay. That's it. So that's where Sister Sandrine went in secret tonight. Now I just need to find out why. I also need to find out what was supposed to be the clues, because that's seven, right? Yeah, it's seven. And Fourteen. Right? 714. And is that the same thing as the clock? And the clock was 715, right? Let me double check this. It was. Oh my god. You used the same clue twice? Is that the idea? It's supposed to be the same clue twice? Is that the idea? Oh, okay. Uh, I figured, you know, you, you usually when you have a clue, you're only supposed to use that once. Okay, guess this game kind of breaks the carnal rules of uh, that. Uh, you know what? Let's just see where else we're going from here. Here is actually the original church of San Sulpice. When it fell into disuse, it ended up under layers of dirt. They built the new church on top of it. Figure out what is hidden inside the crypt. Got more items which the bash people's heads in with. I assume nobody got down here, at least not as of yet. Hi. I'm just yeah, gonna take advantage. Okay. That's because why would it have locked behind them? Alright, there's this thing here. I was hoping it set up a booby trap, but it did not. And uh, three lanterns. Uh, these oil lamps were used to tell stories centuries ago. You could insert different panels into them to project an image on the wall. Interesting. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to figure out which goes where. Okay, fine. Oh, well, first I have to click. That'd be a reason. I'm going to assume that they're in essentially the right order. Uh, next question. What would they spell? I put them in the way they are. All right, so I'm just going to assume the one in the center is correct. A dry wick. Use the oil. Um, take the wick. 
Okay, what can I do? Oh, Copper Lantern. Bronze Lantern. Well, that makes it a little too easy. Well done. Are you complimenting me? Okay, so they're all dry wicks. Can I... Can I not just pour in the oil? Do I need an oil pourer or something? Oh, shut up, you little stupid thing. Take... later. Okay, so I have oil. I have no idea how to use the oil. Pile boxes. There it is. Da Vinci's thingy. All right, well, I see this. Can I push this? And now we got... Uh, do I have to do it again? Fine then, fine. These symbols don't look familiar. These symbols don't look familiar. Oh, I have to get these to light up first or something, I guess? I, I don't know. All right. Well, can I just no, use? That's not it. But also, he says those will look familiar. But didn't I literally just do a puzzle with those things on it? Seriously, isn't it just those things upstairs? I mean, seriously, that's just an S right there. That's an S. These symbols don't look familiar. That's an S. Look at it. All right, well, I got lantern. A large milk can filled with oil. And a dry wick. Combine? No, to combine, I need to combine it with something. Like that, but it's not going to do that within my inventory. I can't just put the oil directly in. It's not telling me anything. Okay, what's this? Oil valve. Now I can light this lamp. Okay, I guess that. So you don't apply it directly it to. to be working. It looks like the beginning of a message. If I light all the lamps, maybe I can decipher it. Yeah, I kind of figured. All right, that worked. That part worked. All right. Jerusalem. I wonder what this is for. Oh. Uh... These buttons on the wall have familiar symbols on them. I wonder if there's a pattern. Yeah, <sighs> Jerusalem. Okay, I do like that this one has a one pip and that has a two pip on it, so I know which ones to use. I probably should have taken a picture of that thingy. So I need J E R U S A L E M. With the Latin language, Jehovah begins with an I. So, that is plain out T. R is that guy. Should probably make sure I make it very obvious what I'm doing. You. And then 
then. Yes. A. L. Very similar to S, but the thing is detached. Uh, e again. Which is why it has a 1 and a 2 pip. Which I guess could have guessed out the E. But I assume nothing bad happens if I get it wrong. I'd just rather not. Okay. Alright, we got it. Since I have now used everything in the area, I assume this is going to be the end of the level. And I'll just make this an extra long one just because I want to get something done. And it's been over an hour. <laughs> That's because I'm so freaking stupid. Stupid, so stupid. All right, so first one is that guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy. Uh, let's see, there's two of them. They look. Oh, uh oh. Um, huh. I must have gotten something wrong. Was it because this guy's not in here at all? It's not what I wrote down. So, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. I think the one I miss is whatever is S, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's definitely A. That's potentially L. That's definitely M. Oh, that's S. What do I... I knew that was S, too. What? Why did I... Where'd I get that? Ugh, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Hooray! Amazing. The entire list of Priory Grand Masters up to this very year. Who's been logging this? And here's Jacques Sonnier. It, it all makes sense now. He wasn't just a member of the Priory of Sion. He was the Grand Master. And in his dying moments, he had to pass on the secrets of the Priory or lose them forever. Oh, no! Whoever killed Sonier wanted to know those secrets, and Sonier sent them here to throw them off. The clues that Sophie are following are taking her right into harm's way. The kind of ingenious zealot that could find and kill the Priory elite will certainly be able to find her as well. The monks must have followed me in here. I should stay out of sight. Oh no! You know, I'm fine with just leaving without fighting anyone. <laughs> this is a fighting game. As far as I know, I don't get any bonuses for, you know, being up guys. 
Those monks are everywhere now. I don't think I can get out the front door anymore. Sister Marguerite probably isn't safe either. I should go and check on her. Okay, then. Where am I right now? All oh, right, right outside the trap door. Weird how they always seem to go around the long way to get to me. The pathing's weird. No, not that! Red! I get there's no stealth running in this. In the shadows, will he vanish? No. I was trying to get into the shadows myself to disappear, more or less, or his field of view. Well, it's not quick enough. Not quite quick enough. It's me again. It's Robert. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. I found out what Sister Sandrine was doing, but it's too dangerous for us to stay here now. Maybe, maybe I should call the police. You didn't call the police yet? I guess that's good for me. What? I Nothing? was in such a panic. I didn't know what to do. It's all right. With everything that's happened tonight, I can understand. I need to call my friend first, but then you should call the police. I'll wait with you until they arrive, but then I need to go. What I've discovered here, well, it will mean a lot to her. Two out of the two secrets found. Next time, Richard and Joe. Uh, oh, not this. What is it? Oh, yeah, Psyops, the Mikey Conspiracy. Then, see you later. Bye.